Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is tutorial 13e in the Lewis series, where we're going to be continuing with the VGUI elements. And we're going to be going into HTML and websites this time. So we're going to be ut utilizing two different things from our elements in VGUI right here, which is going to be the HTML, which right here, which it uses Osimonium as its parent. And more information Osimonium can be found right here. And we're also going to be using the HTML controls, which gives you your address bar, your back button, your forward button, your refresh button, and cancel as well. So let's start by going in here. Now, if you recall from last tutorial with uh, call sheets or column sheets, uh, we left a sheet with three question marks. So right here, we're going to be using the second one. I'm going to show you why this is not a good idea. But okay, so we're going to make HTML, VGI create, and it's going to be an HTML, which is what we're using. And let's say we're going to parent it to sheet two. Remember, this is the bad method. Don't actually do this, but this is how you create the HTML thing. So we're going to dock it to the parent sheet right here, and it's going to fill. Now, you can add your dock margins if you want to, but you really don't have to here. So we're going to skip that and go to open URL and uh, do a quick little copy and paste and we'll open the YouTube channel URL. Okay. So all this does is it creates a web page with this URL. That's it. All right. Very simple. And it's going to fill the space, which is sheet two. Okay. Which is nothing more than a frame. So now we need to add some controls to that. You remember the address bar and things like that. So we're going to do VGI create D, then HTML controls. Now we're going to be pairing, parenting it to Sheet 2 as well. And we're going to have HTML controls. So I'm just going to control D this. Doc top. So remember from the order of docking, um, this is going to fill the giant square, right? And then this is going to go on top of that square because it was docked second after this element was docked, all right? So I kind of went in that, into that in the last tutorial, so this should be a refresh. All right, now this, what this does is it will link this control bar, remember with the all the... Uh, stuff the address bar and all that stuff and it'll link it up to this web page so when you press anything on here it'll trigger changes for the HTML right here okay so by to link it just simply put HTML which is the name right here and here and this must be done after you link is that we can address different elements of the control element itself so we'll say address bar that's what this dot is for so we're referencing the address bar on the HTML control and we're setting the text now I'm gonna set the text to what this is because it does not change on default you have to actually change it yourself with set text okay so this looks like it would work and it would be fine so let's go in game and I'm gonna show you why you should not do it like this All right, so we're now in game. I'm going to press F4, go to HTML, and as Holy you can see, mod here. we have sound, we have videos lo loading. I can click stuff. That's awesome. Refresh, go home, do all this stuff. But however, one thing I can't do is type, and that's why we don't do it like this, because uh, we can't have any kind of input from the keyboard. That's bad. So how are we going to fix it? Well. One thing you might think of as a solution would be self and make pop up right here. However, this is not good because if I did this, now I can't press F4 to close the menu like this. I instead have to click the close button and that can be aggravating. So it defeats the whole purpose of using this method. So we can't do that, but making it a pop up does enable keyboard input. So we're going to be using that to our advantage here. So what instead you could do 
is create a button in the sheet, right? So we'll just call it something like HTML button and set it equal to VGUI create D button. And I hope you know what how to make a button by now. If not, you gotta rewatch some tutorials. So we'll dock that button to the top. And we're gonna set the dock margin on this. And that's just so it's not so ridiculous looking. So I'll set it to 385.10 and 385.10 and HTML button. And we'll actually do that one more time. Control D. We'll set the text of this button, if you recall. So this should be a button review. All right. And then we'll do our do click function right here. So that's going to be equal to a function that does stuff. So we're going to be taking this and putting that here. You can uh, tap the space that and if you didn't know. And so what we need to do now is, okay, so we have this click. So we need to actually create a frame or something like that. Uh, we can actually make another D frame. So we'll just say HTML frame, call it like that. And that will be the object that instead of parenting this to sheet two, will parent this to HTML frame. So just change that right here and right here. And that's going to be a D frame, as you could have guessed. And it's not going to have a parent. So we'll say HTML frame. And we can center it upon its creation. Uh, set the size to something moderately small within the resolution of the screen and we're going to show the close button on this one so let's say true and this is what fixes it all when used correctly is make pop up so that's going to enable the keyboard thing so when we press this button essentially what this is doing is it's calling this panel right here and it's making it and then it's adding all this HTML stuff and then it will um, It'll work fine. So let's go back in game and I'll show you what it does. Alrighty, back in game. So let's press F4. So go to HTML, click our website button. And the website kind of appears a little off. That's just a positioning issue, no big deal. But as you can see, so we have everything going good, going to videos, going to playlist. And most importantly, I can type. Yeah, how fast can barnacle? Oh, that said barnacles type. Anyway, so we have everything working. Looks good. We got the web um, controls working. Got everything else working. You can type. You can move this around. You can exit. Go back in the website, and all that fun stuff. So if you have any more questions on the topic, please let me know. And actually, one last note: I do recommend putting this website button on the side if you're going to make a custom menu so you don't have to set up a page just for a button like this but anyway if you have any questions uh, feel free to let me know and i will catch you guys in the next video